hi guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl Sarah here again i know it's been a while since we shot in my room <laughs> but yeah we're back to the room again and yeah like always it's another sit down video a baby girl is right on my bed playing so if you hear any noise or if you see anybody in the mirror it's ira yeah so yeah let's get right into today so today's video is a tag and it's called the last time tag which i saw this on nezerville's channel i will attach so if you see me looking down i'm reading like the notes on my book on literally the questions what the questions was the last time the first one is when is the last time you got spanked wow that is a very very long time ago i think the last time i got beaten i don't know if i'll call it spanking the last time somebody physically hit me was my mom and she slapped me and i think i was 17 this thing uh no, it really it got to me yeah especially because number one it was in public and number two what led to the snap a slap wasn't my fault you know how you go out with, like your parents for a gathering and then all of a sudden like i was my junior ones i was the one like taking care of my junior ones and how she was in like parents side then yeah all of a sudden before she even started looking for me i was the one that started looking for her and when i didn't see her they said she went like inside the house like you know how you're doing a party and it's in like the compound then she went inside the house and i didn't want to go in so i told i think one of the ladies that worked there that if my mom is looking for me she tell her that i'm in the other tent i don't know sure maybe she didn't see the person when she was not looking for me she now came to meet me in the midst of my cousins and stuff and the next day she started shouting for me before you know snap ah that thing was painful, Sha. But yeah, that's the last time I got spanked. If that counts as this. The last time I bedwet, <laughs> I just stopped bedwetting very early. Like, my mom made me feel like if you pee on the bed, you cannot go to school. <laughs> and I wanted to go to school so badly. Like, I wanted to go to school so badly. So I stopped bedwetting very early. Then I had an accident when I was five, about five, either almost five or I was five. I had an accident. I peed on the bed. Bed. like someone that has not been peeing in bed for years imagine me waking up and seeing that i pee in bed <sighs> i was so full of shame that day i literally removed the bed sheets went to wash it before anybody woke up i came to re-put the same wet bed sheets on the bed i don't know who does that then i used like the duvet to cover it so when my cousins were now in my room playing they're now like <sighs> Why is your duvet like this? Do you want to uncover it? Me, I don't want it to uncover it because I peed on the bed. It was so shameful. But yeah, that was the last time. Last time I raised my voice. Hmm. To be hard though to recall because naturally, I don't know. Maybe when I was growing up, I used to raise my voice. Living with like four junior brothers. Like, yeah. But as I grew up, I don't think I raised my voice that much. Like, if I'm not happy with you, you know, I'll tell you, like, I'm really disappointed in what you did and stuff. But, like, shouting. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think I shout that often. So, I, I don't think I can remember the last time I raised my voice. I think the only person that makes me raise my voice often, yes, 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 the person that makes me raise my voice often is actually my mother in law's cook, Samuel, because he just been messing the kitchen and I'm like, why are you be keeping your house like this? Is this how your house is supposed to be? <laughs> Last time I watched a movie, I haven't watched like an actual movie in a while. I think I watch, not I think, I know, I spend all my time on YouTube. And if I go on Netflix these days, I've been watching more of series. The last movie I watched, honestly, I can't remember. And I really need to go to the cinema, so I can't remember. The last time I ate out, hmm. it's been a while though that I've gone on a, I've gone on a real date and actually eaten food that I like. These days, ugh, the most I buy out is like snacks. I haven't gone out in a while. Please, somebody should take me out. Like I miss going out to eat. Like I love food, and yeah, snacks don't count. So yeah. Last time I made a friend, hmm, this one has been a very long time. I think the last time I made a friend, maybe it's in 2020. I haven't made friends in a while. I think I have not. Okay, okay, yeah, I made a friend recently. True, 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 true. The last time I made a friend was early this year, just before I gave birth. I consider her a friend. <laughs> Yeah, so I met this lovely lady, Tom, which is always in the comment section. Like, we met at our antenatal and we both had our daughters, like, within the same week. So it was amazing. And I can't have been in touch ever since. I could try and meet up here and there. And I, yeah, if I would say she's my friend. Like, I would say we're friends. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the last time I made a friend. 
then the last time i cried hmm before i used to be a cry cry baby like any thing i'm crying <laughs> when i say anything, stupid things like real things are supposed to make someone cry i don't but like stupid stupid things are the reasons why i cry like i'll watch a movie and i'll cry um i'll see maybe somebody going through something and i'll cry but come will break my heart i'll not cry it's funny but like if i'm to remember the last time i cried i think probably in a movie like recently i think or a video self like i will watch something on instagram like maybe a sad story or something and bring tears to my eyes like i'm very sure that's the last time i cried the last time i admired the opposite sex <laughs> ah I, it's weird <laughs> first off i'm married actually no that's not true first off I don't naturally like just admire people i'm never the person like growing up i was never that person that has crushes even when i had a crush it was never a real person it was 90 percent of the time you, you even think i'll say celebrity no it was already video games like i used to crush on like characters like video game characters but like in terms of real life people even last time i had a crush on somebody it wasn't even for my husband, yeah. I think that's when I had a crush on somebody, which didn't even last two days. I think I just got to you. I think, yeah. But like, in terms of having a crush on someone, I think I'll say it's my husband. Let's see if you're safe. That's years and years ago, yeah. I haven't had a crush in a while. The next question is, the last time I got a disappointment. Oh. Hmm, as you grow up, hmm, especially in this barrier economy, disappointment is a normal thing. Every day you have different, different disappointment. Is it in like your professional life? Is it even in your personal life? But me, the disappointment I've had recently is actually in my professional life. Um, if I'm being honest, I wouldn't say I'm depressed or I was depressed. I don't know. But I think emotionally I've been really, really down. Like, I don't think most people know it. I think the only person that knows me is my husband. But I think emotionally, I've been really, really down because professionally, I'm not where I expect to be. And am I working towards it? Yes, I am. But it's taking longer than I expected. And yeah, I think that's the aspect that's given me most disappointment recently. The last time I tried something new, I think the last time I tried something new is actually YouTube. Like I started YouTube this year. And yeah, that's the last time I tried something new. Naturally, I am an adventurous person. Like I like to try new things. I don't shy away from trying new foods, except it's meat. Any new meat, you won't see me there. But like, new food, especially veggies related, yeah, you see me trying it. I'm always like willing to try new stuff. But in recent years, I think the most recent thing I've tried out is YouTube. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Still going on on this amazing journey. <laughs> the last time I got into it, <laughs> God, what do you mean? Like, do you really want to know? No, I don't think you want to know. If you want to know, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> the next one is, the last time I had a heartbreak, Honestly, I don't think I've ever had a heartbreak. Like, I actually don't think. Before my husband, I was never really in love. Like, I've liked people, but I never liked anybody enough to sacrifice. Or when I mean sacrifice, like not a big sacrifice, but, like even sacrifice myself. Like sacrifice my comfort. Or when I mean my comfort, if you take something deep, like maybe if I don't want to talk to somebody at night, yeah, it's part of my comfort. Like. I was never really really in love before my husband so yeah i've had people that i've liked here and there and when it ends hmm, in less than 48 hours i've moved on <laughs> so i don't think i've ever had a real heartbreak yeah have i broken hearts that's another question but yeah it's not part of these questions <laughs> the last time i lost money hmm if you know me you know i don't miss business and i do not misplace miss money because money is very important to me <laughs> i love money but i'm not saying that i can go i can go do this misplace money i don't know if i'm i can go but i don't play with my money i don't think i've misplaced money in my whole life i've only misplaced money twice i misplaced ten thousand when i was a child and i think 
gave me boom boom. And the second time I misplaced money, I was in uni, and I think money fell off, it was five pounds. And it wasn't my husband's fault. I think it was my joggers. I remember very well when sports direct, I could bought stuff and like I took the change and I put in my joggers. I think we we're just playing and I removed my hand and it fell out or something. I think that's the only time I ever misplaced. Those are the only two times I've ever misplaced money. I, I don't misplace money. Now, if it's all this little, little change here and there that you keep in the car or in your bag, that anybody in the house can pick up, like I don't count that as misplacing money. Last time I took what does not belong to me. I don't think what doesn't belong to me. Some people shall suffer in my hand. My husband, my mom, and my sister. Yeah, even if I need I'm saying she suffer in my hand. What do I really take from her? What do I take from her? I don't really take stuff from her. Except she cooks food. I'll eat food. But like she cooks food belongs to me now. Like my husband said that I'm saying I'm thinking it belongs to me. His cloth is my cloth. My cloth is his cloth. Can he wear my cloth? No, but I can wear his cloth. Yeah, I take his cloth. And my mom, yeah, yeah, yeah. Clothes and money. Most times, like I'll just enter her wallet. I'm going somewhere. I'll just enter her wallet and carry money. And I'm like, I've carried money from your wallet, so I'm going out. See you later. Yeah. So in that sense, that's how I take things that don't belong to me. Last time I lied. Hmm. Naturally, as a child of God, I try not to lie. But I would say 90% of the times I don't lie. That 10% is for my husband. Yes, I do lie to my husband. Not big lie. Small, small lie. Do you have money? I don't have money. <laughs> Let me have small money. But do I really have money? No, I don't. Is it really a lie? No, it's not. Those kind of like white lies. Nothing serious, really. Um, last time I got drunk, it's like I'm a boring person, you know, I don't actually drink, but I drank in uni and I got drunk, so last time I got drunk was in uni, I went for a party, my friend's birthday actually, I think I drank like two glasses of cocktail, so I got drunk, what did I do, I went to her room, I slept, I missed the whole party, I woke up the next day, I was sleeping, then I woke up, I was like, oh, is the party on, you slept throughout the night. So yeah, that's the last time I got drunk. I think the only time actually. The last time I traveled alone. The last time I traveled alone was when I went home for Christmas. Most times I travel with my husband, but on that particular occasion I traveled alone. That was was it last year? No, twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty. Last time I changed my brush, as in my toothbrush. That was last year. I didn't change my toothbrush this year. That was late last year. So by now, it's like a year that I've been using this toothbrush. I think I'm attached to it. I'll change it. Last time I took a bike, as in Okada. <laughs> Normally, I'm scared of bikes. So I don't think I climb bikes. But the last time I took a bike, I was on a holiday with my sister. Yes, she's the one. She's the one that put me on the bike. And we climbed together, so she put me in the middle and, her, and she was at my back. And throughout the ride, I wanted to cry. It was a short ride, but I was really scared. I don't like bikes. So that was last time. The last time I went on a date, I think this is a hint to my husband. It's been a while I've been out on a date. A real date, just me and him. I don't think we've been on a date for some time. Like every time we go out, which is my fault, obviously, every time we go out, with my baby <laughs> so yeah i actually want to go on a date just me and him so if you're watching this video yeah take me out on a date i'll happily go and i'll leave ira at home i promise <laughs> that's the end of the tag i hope you just get to know me a bit better and understand the type of person i am from this tag let me know if there's any question that stands out for you give us an answer in the comment section down below and i'll see you in my next video bye